All right, hey guys, today I want to take a uh, second to talk about the Arbor Arms Nut Rucks. Uh, this, there's a whole series of these, uh, but they're running a sale right now. So I've been sitting on this one for too long and uh, thought I should get something out there real quick. Plus I had gotten a couple of questions about it due to the sale. So uh, what you're looking at here is the large uh, Nut Ruck. All right, they come in uh, like five or six different varieties. There's a small, medium, large. There's a medical variety. And then there's the original uh, that I believe is the Jedberg or something like that. All right, but again, this is the large. And uh, all of the features uh, in the small, medium, and large should be roughly the same. The Jedberg has uh, a couple more features, and then I haven't messed around with the medical at all. So I don't know about that. All right. Uh, but like I said, all the features are more or less the same. And uh, there's some stuff not covered on the website, so uh, hopefully this will help. Uh, help you make up your mind if it's something for you. All right, so uh, starting with the exterior, all right, so you've got your loop field. Uh, you've got two drainage holes on the bottom, which Arbor Arms has a uh, tourniquet mounting system uh, using shock tube or shock cord, sorry, that comes out of the holes and uh, retains a tourniquet there. All right, you've got a, a front pocket and then a large main pocket. On top you have these two webbing loops which will accept a repair uh, tubes, a repair four inch tubes so that you can mount it under your plate carrier with a tubes adapter. And then on the back you have your uh, waist strap so you can use it like a traditional fanny pack. You And it can also be stowed uh, behind this velcro strip here. You have your plate carrier hanger here which uh, matches up with a JPC uh, pattern Velcro, which I believe is the industry standard. I think the AVS is one of the only ones that's kind of backwards. And then uh, you can also use these side release buckles to mount it direct to a Molly belt, uh, which is why I hadn't run the salt belt review. I forgot about that. Uh, it was because I wanted to play around with this on there and I just didn't get around to that. All right, so those are the external features. Uh, standard across the sizes and I believe the Jedberg is very similar too. All right, looking in the interior on your front uh, pocket and this is what the website doesn't cover at all at least I couldn't find it on there uh, if it is great uh, but looking in your front pocket you have some elastic retainers here you've got four individual slots on the body side and then on the exterior side you have a uh, little velcro tab secured flat pocket there All right you also have some webbing loops in the bottom that you can use for dummy cording and that is that for that pocket the main pocket is double zippered uh, so if you're using this for concealed carry or something like that you can set it up however uh, works best for your methods whether it's off the one side or middle open or the other side or whatever okay. And then looking uh, in the interior of that, this is gonna be kind of tricky and I apologize. Uh, you've got two large elastic loops here, and then you have two uh, like keychain retainers or whatever else works for that. And then again, you have a large uh, Velcro pocket there. All right, so that is the interior layout. You also have, uh, oh, disregard. You've got your, uh, your grommets in the main portion. So if you wanted to use those kind of in reverse to retain something on the inside, you could do that as well uh, by knotting your shock tube, shock cord or paracord or something on the outside uh, with the bulk of it running in. All right. Uh, and then what I thought was kind of interesting about the way they did the uh, removable or stowable waistband here is you have a standard, uh, you know, quick attach. I don't think these are actually repair versions. All right, they've got the little hinged connection here. Uh, side release buckle on this side. And then on the other side where there's no adjustment on the waist strap, it looks like they have this, this sweet custom uh, buckle here. They actually just took uh, one of these, I thought this was kind of funny, and they snapped off uh, the other portion so the webbing just works through there which is pretty slick all right they they didn't have what they wanted 
uh, available, so they made it, uh, and it works really well. Uh, there's no complaints there. I just noticed that, and I thought it was kind of interesting. All right, I will uh, throw this on a JPC real quick, so you get a sense for the scale, and uh, hopefully that'll help you determine what you what size you'll need. All right, so we've got this mounted on a medium JPC2. Uh, not that it matters which version it is. And uh, again, this is the large, and hopefully this comes through in the video all right, but you can see the large is just ever so slightly wider than the plate bag on the medium uh, JPC. However, I think if you had anything of any significance in here, uh, and it would, it would kind of eat up some of that width, and it would fit more or less perfectly in line with the plate bag. All right, so you're not gonna have this big, wide, bulky thing. Um, hanging off of your, your plate carrier front. All right, and again, this is a large, so this is kind of worst case scenario for a, uh, a medium plate carrier. Uh, one, one aspect of this that I don't care for, all right, and this is kind of nitpicky, but it, it does have some, some functional impact, is there's a good bit of flap uh, left on this hanger. So if you look at the Velcro in here, if you made up the Velcro perfectly, uh, you've got about an inch of drop underneath the plate bag. Now that can make it significantly easier to access this top pocket, but it also provides a little bit of standoff from the plate, which can lead to these things kind of flopping around a little bit more than they would otherwise. All right, so that can be easily remedied by just sinking this further up into the plate bag. And you should still have enough Velcro there uh, to retain it perfectly fine, especially once you have the tension of a plate in there. But it is just something to keep in mind that it's not quite as secure as it could be, uh, or to have it as secure as you want it, uh, you might have a little bit more flop. But you can kind of dial it in and uh, do what works best for you. All right, uh, so that is the Arbor Arms nut ruck in the large uh, version. Again, should be the same across the board. I, I can't confirm because I don't have any of the other sizes, but I would imagine that all of the uh, the internal features are more or less the same. And then to give you guys just real quick some semblance of scale on this because everybody uses these for something different, I have my, uh, my loaded out uh, tactical tailor one here and you can kind of see the height is about the same. The, uh, the depth is probably a little bit more generous on the Arbor Arms version, and the width we're looking at, you know, a quarter to a third wider than the uh, Tack Taylor version here. Right, and then uh, I, don't, I don't have anything crazy handy to, uh, to show you, but the, uh, the large is just big enough to fit a, uh, a 152 sideways in it. Not saying that that's ever something you would do, uh, but it is something that'll fit in there and something that should be fairly available to a large portion of you guys if you're trying to get kind of an idea for what you can fit in here. There's plenty of extra excess room in there, just not excess width uh, once you have the radio in there. So uh, it's probably a little bit narrow for like trying to put a uh, stick of C4 or something in there. But if you had like a slider charge or something like that, you could easily fit it in there and it would work out just fine. All right guys, hopefully that answered some questions. And uh, if you like this thing, hop on it quick because I think they've got 13% off uh, for the, the Halloween season. All right.